Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. And I've been uh, doing a little bit of work around here. As you can see, I uh, filled in this area a little bit here. I was trying to, you know, come up with something with this area. I was hoping I was going to be able to move this pod or do something with it. And, you know, I can't really do much. I do want to leave it here. It's going to be sort of like a, a centerpiece. Uh, I've been messing around with trying to get, like, little lights in the corners with the, the solar beacons. But it was getting a little too glary off of that so we'll just go with that for now and then eventually when we find the plan just we'll get the plants in here and make it look kind of nice and whatnot uh i have done a little, little work outside too and i'll show you this here quickly uh i decided to fill in the side here i haven't decided what i'm actually going to go with uh for now it's just going to be the the bottom side of the ceiling panels and uh just to make things work in the corners i want the the short inner wall now i, I may end up just redoing the whole thing with the short inner wall just because it'll look a little bit better uh but yeah that's that's it for now and uh also it was uh brought up that i forgot to hook up the other generator that's why the the issue was i was having the issue with not enough power and that's because i actually moved it with the mover tool instead of rebuilding it so i forgot to hook that switchboard up to this uh which is no big deal uh today though uh, we are going to go on a little bit of adventure we might actually have to add another generator i think uh, if I have two generators or three generators, I'm still using the same amount of power. I'm technically using the same amount of fuel, so it could work. Because what I want to do is I want to build some, some sort of like garage or something for the, bug, the buggy. I also want to create sort of a, I'll call it an AFK switch for, for everything inside here. And uh, that's just basically so if I hop in, hop in the rover or the flyer when we get air blades eventually that when I take off, that'll shut the whole system down automatically for me, and I don't have to worry about losing power, lo losing fuel. Uh, so we are going to go ahead, and I uh, should have supplies on me. And we're just going to go over here, extend this out a little bit, and, uh, you know, put a ramp or something so the buggy can actually drive up. Let's actually not do it that. Get that out. Uh, I want to go here. I was going to make it black, because it's a road, technically, so we'll make it out of asphalt. Now, where's that line? See, I can't go by that because this is offset, so it's got to go there. Let's see if I got that right. I do. See? I know how to play this game. Uh, it's not going to be that big. It doesn't need to be that big. Maybe a 3x4, and I do have ramps, so we can use that. Do it that way. Go ahead, fill this in. Put some, uh, well, you get the idea. I'm going to fill this all in, get a ramp up here, put some railings around, and I'll bring you back when we rebuild the buggy. Okay, I'm just filling in the ramp now. I noticed they added uh, a new sub model, because I don't actually remember that from before. But I'm placing these down, and I started thinking about when I did the, the Mega Labyrinth. I don't know if you've ever, if you actually seen that one, that was the, the giant tabletop labyrinth I had made in, uh, Season, I think it was season two, season, yeah, season two. Uh, I do believe I actually built that and created it. I, know. I can't remember what that thing was. Uh, it was the ball return on that was just incredible. Do I not have any plates? Hmm. All right, we'll have to craft some plates. Uh, I definitely got to get some better production going. Uh, that's kind of the reason what what kind of what the plan is for today that's why i'm building this and we're rebuilding the, the rover because we got to go on a bit of an exploration adventure today or try to anyways now it has been suggested that i should try to go to this sos down here that is a very 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 long way away uh i am on the largest planet size i think it's a 24 kilometer radius so from here to here oh sorry from here to here just 24, so it's 48 kilometers across, but that's straight. From here to here, I'm looking at probably 60, 50 or 60 kilometers i got to travel. So I don't know how far we're going to get. I know we've got to go down somewhere in this area to find titanium. Maybe when we get titanium, we'll find other things. Uh, well, yeah, at the same time, too, we find some wrecks, do some exploring, do some scanning, usual stuff. Uh, do I have any plates yet? I don't because I was rambling on and on and on. But anyways, uh, yeah, I was talking about this so-called dead man switch. Now, I do want to rebuild this. Uh, 
try to get a little bit wider of a base. Uh, is there anything in here I need to worry about? Do I have inventory space? I think so. All right, we're just going to take it all apart and rebuild it. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger, give it some more storage. Uh, I would make this all f fancy and stuff, but uh, limited on supplies. I want to find mine or two as soon as I can. Uh, that was actually one thing I noticed, too, is when you're dismantling stuff, now it's if you hold the mouse button down, you're on something, and then you move to the ground, it doesn't give you those accidental holes, and I'm sure everybody loves that, right? All right, um, I need a few more things. Uh, I've got to make some more composites, I believe. Uh, I need more plates, more frames, so let me get a few things together. Hopefully this rain will stop, and I'll bring you back. And yes, as I said before, I have more than my share of rain in this, this world. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I forgot how expensive these damn things were. I forgot there were four four plates for each one. But anyway, so let's go ahead and start building a little bit of a rover here. Uh, let's switch to another bar here. Uh, we're gonna go with the rugged wheel, we're gonna go with suspension. Uh, I'm not gonna go with the jack. I'm gonna go with my jack just because. Uh, I'm going to have it stand a little bit higher than usual. It's not going to be anything special. It's just going to be a basic rover. Let's, you know, go, go with the three wide. Uh, no lights. Probably won't have a suspension or a winch on it. I've got some slopes. And what else? Switchboard. Switchboard and some containers. And that should be everything I need. Alright, so we're not going to do too much here. We're going to go ahead and do, do, make a red just because, you know, red's always faster, right? Uh, we may not be able to go blazing fast speeds, but we could at least have the impression that we do. Alright, so I've been thinking about this. and I, What I might do is just go do like a little truck here, maybe do that and put some batteries on the back. Um... I am going to get this set up for charging, and it's also going to be utilizing my dead man switch. Hmm. I wonder if I should go more than that. Well, let's stay with 12 for now. Or 6. Sorry. I don't know how to count today. I'm seeing double. Maybe be a good day. Uh, oh, yeah. I was going to put this a little bit lower. Let's, uh, let's lower down. Control. That was a button. Turn my light on. Because it's going to be getting dark soon. Go to here. And do that. And just like that. I just want to get one block down. Just Some of these hills can be a little treacherous. Alright. And it's going to be the same thing on the other side here. Uh, so it's going to be basically the same thing. Let me finish this up. Okay. I am pretty much done. I was getting dark, it was raining, so I decided to take a nap, but this is it for now. It's going to be... Well, actually, now that I think about it, I probably should put that on another spot. Um, the reason why I'm leaving room there is because eventually I will be finding solar panels. Eventually I will be finding solar panels. And so we'll go ahead and do that. I'm going to go and hook this up back to the batteries. Four, five, six, one, two, three, four. Now for my dead man switch. All right, well, my AFK switch. Now, this is really a really basic idea. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'll probably actually put it right on top of the generator. All right, so I want to have two switchboards. Let's, uh, let's just disconnect that all together. Let's grab another switchboard. I think I need another circuit for this. Uh, I think so. Yes, I do. It's a good thing I have some in here. Good thing I got the emergency light, too. Alright, good. You know what? They really should have some sort of battery utilization on that thing. It does have solar panels, but you know what I mean? It's free power. Alright, um, let's have green as the in, red as the out. Alright, let's get rid of that. So now what's going to happen is this is actually going to connect up to the main board here or that one anyways and then this one here is going to be connected to the two generators now what I do is I bring my rover in oh yeah no power doors don't work 
first world problems. All right, and hopefully I don't crush myself. Bring that down. I do have to adjust the wheels, so let's get Eel Build Vision out. Uh, I will be, hopefully, I got a better part of a week off, and I plan on getting my guides up on Steam more, more up to date. We'll leave that there for now. Okay, let me go switch this side over. Uh, direction. See, I know. I still know how to play. All right. Oh, except for the fact I don't know how to set up steering. <laughs> ha ha ha. And I always forget this. Uh, it's the front that determines your steering. Let's find it. Yeah. Unfortunately, I got the other side the other way. All right. Is that right now? Nope. I'll get there eventually. Okay, that should do it. No. Uh, I must have missed it again. Okay. Uh, there we go. They're both in the front. Sorry. There we go, that's a little better. You know what, I could actually make this a little wider. It'll be fine for now. But anyways, or not wider, longer. Ramp should be wide enough. I'm starting to realize maybe I should rebuild this. Always are a little wide, but that's fine. That's fine. So, I'm definitely gonna have to expand my ramp. So now for the dead man switch, or AFK switch. I don't know why I keep calling it a dead man switch. All right, so the way this is going to work, and uh, what we're going to do is not get into first person there. Take this, this switchboard, and we are actually going to connect it to these two. So what that'll happen, what will happen is when I'm in range, it'll bridge the connection and turn the power on at the same time, as long as I'm outputting more power then everything is using, then this should charge, in theory, and it has already. So now what will happen, and hopefully I can have, yes, can have build vision on. So when I back up, back out, definitely got to rebuild this thing and disconnect, power goes out. So in that way I don't have to worry about using up all my fuel while I go away. If I have to run out quickly and I forget to turn the lights off, turn it off for me. Uh, but anyways, uh, this is starting to bug me a little bit. I'm actually going to move this underneath. So what do I actually need for that hover jack? <sighs> I don't know if I have any of those. Let's see if I've got those Mark II frames. I think I do. I probably don't, but I might. No, I do not. And what do I need for them? I have no idea because I have no power. That was actually something I was going to do. I was going to do an override here too. Hmm. Put it right up there. Make it white so it blends in with the ceiling. Okay, and we'll have that switched off. And then we'll connect that to these two. So now, if I'm out of range, let's turn build vision off, get the tool out of my hand. If, I, if I, the vehicle's out of range, I can actually turn it, the whole system on, override it, or leave it running while I'm away. Nah, that's my plan for that. Anyway, uh, let's go check on this Mark II plating. I think I need cobalt for that, did I not? I need a better printer is what I need. Ah. And no, I am not dismantling that. Well, I guess we're going to go on a bit of an adventure, I guess. Uh, let me bring those wheels in a little bit. Uh, oh yeah, I can't do the hover jack. <laughs> How would I do this? Besides rebuilding the entire thing. Actually. Aha. Use the suspension to my advantage. Let's crouch down. We'll get the jack pull back in there. We'll do that there. Yes, that should be good. Alright, I'll take that wheel out. Now this should work. Because what happens is when you place the suspension, it drops down. So if I go like this, make this red again. Place the suspension. Now, you can see that the suspension is raised right now. Uh, if I place the wheel on and it drops, I know it's free. 
and it does. So I can actually rebuild this quickly. So let me do this, and we'll head on our way. And there we go. So now it's a couple of blocks smaller, which means I can actually fit up the ramp a little bit better. Turn the shot back on. I think I actually left the, the main power on. We'll turn that off, and then... Yeah. Definitely have to make this a little wider, or park a little closer to the door. Definitely a big truck. No, I'm not accommodating, not trying to compensate for anything. Uh, let's see, what do I have on me? I do gotta grab some food with me. Let's, uh, let's go see how the greenhouse is doing. Uh, I got some stuff in the food and drink machine when I started the episode, too, so... Should have some nuts ready to go. Uh, unfortunately, I got a few screw loose, screws, few screws loose, so, yeah. How are we doing here? Seeds are still being produced. How are you doing for seeds? You got seven, so... Uh, I'm going to keep making the, the nuts for now. Need more food or seeds in there. This says still got plenty of seeds and seeds to go. Does need water, though. There you go. All right. Let us... Uh, my ulti tool... Movable tool scanner. Uh, the mover can stay. Let's uh, let's put it in here. Mover can stay. Guess we don't really. Well, we'll take some parts with us just in case. You never know what's going to come in handy. Uh, bandages. I know I probably should take them with me, but uh, I think we'll survive. Yeah, that should be good. I've got six con uh, six containers of storage, storage, uh, so we should be fine. And you are, you are still on. Let's turn you off. As you can see, power is still on. We hop in the truck, we back out, and watch everything turn off. Lights out. All right, now, which way are we gonna head? That's we gotta head west. We gotta head southwest. A long way southwest. So, let us turn around. Oh. Hmm. Okay. I got the sleeping bags. Wanted to make sure I had those. Alright, so let us head west, shall we? Uh, that probably won't be too much interesting to find, or see, or talk about, or ramble on about, or potentially kill me. I'm actually curious at how long a battery power I have on it these batteries. Unfortunately, I gotta zoom in all the way to see it. An hour and a half. Alright, uh, if I run across solar panels along the way, hopefully I have enough to actually build it. Yeah, we can make glass if we need to. Anyway, off I go. Okay, I'm back. It's actually about two days in game after I... I uh, did the last cut there. Needless to say, this uh, this terrain's not forgiving. Uh, no, I got stuck and I got rolled and I had to find my way around and then came across a lot of water and so needless to say, the truck hasn't been going too well. But uh, I'm currently here. Uh, like I said, we have a long way to go to get there if that's the case. But there's two wrecks here. Two distress signals came up. And it's good timing too, because the sun's just starting to come up. I've already had to use one of the sleeping bags already. But maybe, maybe, maybe we can actually find something useful here. I'm just keeping an eye out to see what's here. And what do we have? Oh, where is it? Is it nest? Oh, it's right here. Alright, well, let's get on the other side to get away from these fireflies. Looks like a little shuttle. Hmm. Is that a poison plant? No, that's a box. Alright. Uh, should be good. Alright, let's uh, see what we have here. Anything to scan? No scannable. Nothing. Let's go inside and take a look. Absolutely nothing. Just spare parts. That's an interesting block there. Let's even see what it is. No, it's not. Oh. I have a multi tool up. Oh, yeah, it's Kickstarter blocks. Hmm, what is this? A basic wall. Nice, interesting little design, little compact thing. Emergency box. 
Now, it was uh, suggested, too, that I turn build vision on to look for other centers of mass around these wrecks. Uh, so, I do see two containers. There is nothing in there. Is there any actual power to this? Uh, it's all light. Uh, it's got no power. Nothing. There's a light there. I might strip it down. I don't know. Let's go see what's in here. Uh, another one of these crystals and a survivor's day pad, uh, data pad. Manny, if you find this, follow in my footsteps. I know you made it to the pods. There were others, right? Captain Tamara, Marinov, Valerie. Yeah, I don't know if they made it. After the anomaly, they blew up the bridge to save the cargo. The atmospheric entity entry was pretty rough. I got some bruises and I think a couple of, of ribs broken, but hey, I'm alive. We need to figure something out. There's 10,000 people abandoned on the, on the orbit. Hmm. Okay. So I have another objective. Let's actually see what that is. To take build vision off. And objectives. Okay, so that's actually done. Uh, I think that was this one here. Terry's story. You got that one. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so all that's really left is finding, the, uh, finding titanium to make these. And see what else we have. So... You know, I don't really need anything. I might actually just leave this here, just just for sake of leaving it here. And there's actually another wreck pretty close by. We'll check that one out, too. And that one is 700, 700 meters that way. Uh, I'm aware, too, that my batteries might be getting a little low. So I will have to charge eventually. Uh, this is generally the direction I need to get to. Like I said, it's going to take a while, even if I was driving full speed on flat terrain. It'd still take me an hour, like real-time driving to get there, and my batteries honestly wouldn't last that long. So I need to find uh, solar panels. If not, I'll just have to rebuild the batteries. It's not that big of a deal. But we shall find out. Never know what we're going to find. There's a tree there. So glad that it's not block damage. <laughs> I would have destroyed this thing three times already. Yeah, literally, I would have. Oh, four times. That's a rock. And five times. I thought about putting a light on here so I could see a little better, but it all depends on the camera angle that I'm using and the fact that the battery batteries will drain a lot quicker. Okay, and this one is right here. Hmm, and we have company. What's in here? Okay, transforming into a uh, vessel. Yeah, yeah, Alright, well, something happened, apparently. Uh, what is this? It's just a pod. I might dismantle it just because... Just because it is parts. I think we actually get reinforced plates out of this. Which will come in handy. Oh, inventory space. Of course. Of course, of course, of course. Well, guess what? I got plenty of storage right here. Let's get all that in there. Um, seeds, biomass... I'll take those out, and, yeah, all right, let's see what all we get out of here. Oh, did I hurt somebody? I'm sorry. Oh, let me scan you, let me scan you, let me scan you. I've almost died. <laughs> and come on, come on, come on, come on. Gotcha. Ha ha. And I got the Serbal Trophy. Alright. Now let's see if we can get, get the rest of this pod. 
unfortunately I'm healing. Oh, that's the wrong button. Hey, there's something there. Oh, is that the, the beacon? Oh, I just wasted the battery. Yes, I was told to scan these. Which means I should have get sc scanned the other one. The long sleep. Manship has been stagnant in order. Okay, that's just that. Oh. Here I am, we need batteries again. But at least this gets us some really expensive parts, which I like. And it saves me from scrapping my pot. Because I want to keep my pot. Alright, we're good. I don't know what we're going to get out of here. Ooh. Alright, fine, I'll leave it. I got what I wanted. Anyway, uh, I guess I'm gonna head. I'm gonna go back to this one here. I right, bring you back for that, and then we'll do some more adventuring. That's why I didn't see it. It was right next to the container. So let's scan this one and see if this is the same thing or something different. Survivors. Further analysis after encountering a massive energetic interference in the planet's atmosphere, the ship has been evacuated. Several Anita crew members remained alive on the surface for some time and attempted to. Disrupt the atmospheric defense and establish communication. Okay, all right, that's what I came back for. Anyway, so back to the map. I guess I'm gonna be trying to head that direction. Uh, at this point, the only thing I can really hope for is that I find something with air blades on it. But let's see, that is west, so uh, it's gonna be that way. So I shall see you. Oh, oh roadkill. Anyway, I shall see when I find something new. Alright, well, I've been at this for a while. I've been sort of backtracking back and forth, trying to find a way to get past. And this is what I'm running into everywhere. Uh, unfortunately, they changed it so you can't drive rovers in the water. Uh, I learned that the hard way. I got stuck in there and I was spent 20 minutes trying to get out of the water. I don't know where it is anymore. I think it's, yeah, it's right there. But yeah, I've been trying to figure out how I'm going to get there. Like, clearly south isn't going to be the answer. Uh, west isn't exactly any easier either. So, I'm thinking I might have to do some more looking around the area for other wrecks. Maybe, maybe I have to find titanium. I haven't found those lighter brown spots that are sort of at the edge of the green plains biome where you usually find the one percent but it might take a while for you to find that by by hand so i'm actually going to leave this episode here i might try start try start heading back to the uh, back to the pod but uh what i guess give me your suggestions what do i do uh realistically a smart thing to do would be build a bridge across that's a lot of plates and a lot of frames. I know I could uh, could use uh, use base foundations because it's only going to use one frame and I should be able to front drive on just the frame but you know what I mean it's going to have to be at least too wide for this thing and uh, yeah if I got to go, go a kilometer that's a lot of blocks so Anyways, uh, yeah, give me your suggestions in the comments, what should I do? Should I look around uh, the main area there for some more wrecks? Maybe I will find air blades. Do I need to uh, find titanium somewhere in the ground? Is there random boulders I find? Do I head north? Do I find it up in this area? Because as far as I know, it should be just be like just as you start getting into the desert biome, you should be able to find it. Uh, I don't think it was up here. As far as I know, it was uh, aluminum, cobalt, and silver up in the north. Things that may change. But anyways, uh, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.